Hey guys, it's Pyro Paradox here, back with another video on Legacy Craft. If you remember last time, I did it. I beat the freaking Ender Dragon. Um, and if you guys saw the last episode, you know how horribly, horribly that went. Um, and I am currently deciding what to take home and what to leave. Because I can't take everything. I have to take the dragon knife. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to take all these saddles. Because those will be useful. Horse armor. That way... I, I could always make a leather worker. So I'll leave those there. I'll take a flint and steel with me. Redstone, lapis, emerald, pearl, name tag, sword. You, you, you. No. You can come. Let's see. Um, no, I'll put that back. Uh, block that, that. I will take all of these bones and all this paper. Um, that seems like. Let's see, is there anything else I could take? I could take. I will take the water bucket. And I'll take this empty bucket as well. Gunpowder. Seems to be pretty stocked up. Oh yeah, so my enchanted, uh, my uh, my other enchanted gear. So my these both died in the last episode. So rip in the chat for them. But I was thinking of trying something a little bit different to get back home this time around. Now I might actually need to grab some cobblestone for this. And I'm scared to break this because I'm like silverfish. Oh, my inventory is full. Oh no. I the wrong way. Of course, of course, when I want cobblestone, I get the other... Come on, stone, please. Thank you. So, I'm doing this so I can build a sort of system in the nether that's like, come this way to get to the stronghold for when I eventually come back to acquire the elytra and other items. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that was a journey, and if you guys remember, I died multiple times trying to fight the Ender Dragon, and that's not an understatement, or that, that's not an over, that's an understatement, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I did quite a bit, I had to jump off a few times because I got stuck, but, in the end, did it really matter? Okay, so we need to head towards zero, zero. Which, actually, looks like it's going back this way. So, this direction. So, I'm going to mine this way first. So, it looks like we're actually going to be taking to the nether map. Which can be a little bit scary, because lava... There's there's little lava puddles throughout the nether map. And it flat flows really quickly here in the nether, so my chances of escaping are kind of... Eh... Instantly, it's like creative mode in here. Okay, so lava pops, that means there's something nearby. Hopefully, it's not some lava pool ready to kill me. This is what I'm talking about, these things. 
they are really dangerous in the nether because of how quickly they flow. I'm just gonna crouch just to be safe. Never know when you might accidentally. I don't know if that's another light probable. Ooh. Uh, nether caves are cool though. generates a little bit differently from um, the overworld so caves generate in a completely new way and I, lo I like the way they look because they're always really tall and really cool looking and the buffet because you can actually you can make a nether style overworld so it's all underground it's in between two layers of bedrock you can do that with the buffet feature, and I've done it before. I, I really like. Oh, okay, back onto the tank. There we go. I really like the idea of an overworld that is Nether style. So you're in between two layers of bedrock, and there's no surface. You have to, you have to survive underground, and it's it's a cool experience. on the bottom right corner because that says lava pop so we got to be careful as long as it's not in well as, as long as it's in front of us we have to be careful if it's to the side i don't think it's too oh. okay oh hello enderman let's see okay we're almost to zero zero now we gotta start heading this way so Okay, so if you hit Shift F3, you get this little pie, ch pie chart down in the bottom right. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it. I'm going to turn that off. Huh? Nope. Okay, there we go. from zero zero we should have a power portal or I could have just done this entire journey for absolutely no reason um, now I'm out of let's see can I see the portal from where I am there it is that's that box that I built nice okay let me see what can I build Looks like it's netherrack. It is. Um, how do I go about doing this? You know, maybe I'll tunnel. Maybe I should just tunnel down this way. 
Ooh, things are dropping. Okay. I can foolproof this and I cannot die to this lava. If I somehow manage to get myself killed by this lava, this series ends. No, I'm not gonna hold true to that, actually. No. No, because I'm gonna somehow manage to do it. So let me build a little pillar that says come this way, basically. I'll put some stone on top of it. Staircase that goes into the tunnel, which leads to the stronghold. I will take that slice of damage because that's in the whole freaking. Hello. Stop shooting me. Oh, I did not. I did not expect to hit that back. Home we go. Oh, uh, it's good to be back at back at the treehouse, and now I can organize stuff in the chests. Anyway, uh, after I organize this, I actually have a bit of an announcement to make. Uh, let's see. The valuables. I do have an extra diamond. Here. Nice. Here. Actually, you know what? I need armor, I need the armor. Bucket, bow, that I basically only use to kill the Ender Dragon. Um, bone, bone paper, gunpowder. This stuff. stuff. Where can I put the end stuff? Here. Let me put fuel in there. Uh, this needs to be displayed in some fashion. So let me get this back out. For now, I'll just create a simple end fountain. Well, that's gonna have to wait till next episode. I'll just toss both of this in here. Both of these in here. Um, I can name you. What should I name it? What should I name it? Uh, how about Gary? No. Uh, I could name him. I don't have a name for you yet, so I'm just gonna put this 
and valuables, because that's an uncraftable item. And over here, I have a lot of iron that I need to smelt. Okay. Well, anyway, this has been an experience, all of like fighting the inner dragon and whatnot. Well, anyway, once all that stuff's done smelting, I will pick it up and just in time to enjoy the wonderful sunset on my Christmas tree. And the other tall tree that failed to be the Christmas tree, so I didn't have to use it. Well, respawn back at home. <coughs> I need to go say hi to the bee, the one bee that's left. If he's still alive, I doubt that. I still need to label these chests, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So while that's smelting, yes, I am holding it double meat, and the dog is being tortured. I'd feed you, but you, your health isn't low, so I'm not going to right this second. Anyway, I have a small announcement to make. So the school is starting back up again, so I'm not going to be making as many videos going into the future. So they, I posted a lot of videos over this break, but the series is going to be a little bit more sporadic in hosting because I've got school to deal with, I've, got, I've just got stuff to do with there. But um, this is my last day before all that begins. So, um, thank uh, thank you for any that, anybody that's stuck around this far in the series. If you if you've watched all the episodes up to this point, I just remembered I made a lot. I had a lot of emeralds. <laughs> Uh, 27 emeralds. Let's see what's the recording time at. Mm, almost 20 minutes. Got a little bit more time. Oh, let me know. All my aim is done. Oh. But anyway, uh, I'm going to say hi to everybody at the village. Check the farm. Probably hasn't grown since the chunks haven't been loaded. Yeah, fighting the Ender Dragon, that was the worst dragon fight I think I've ever seen anybody do. I was way underprepared. But then again, I just didn't I just didn't have the patience to wait any longer. I had to get that Ender Dragon killed before episode twenty. And I did it with one episode to spare. Did Okay, I can actually loot some stuff. Make sure I don't mess up in the farmland. I'm gonna come back when you're all finished growing. Let's see. How's the bee going? I don't see bee buzzes happily. Oh, no, nope, bees work. There it is. So yeah, it looks like the bee has returned. I gotta find, I gotta find him a mate, uh, yeah, a mate. Oh, heck no, I, I just have random wood in there. Um, no, I don't want to. Yeah, I gotta find him a mate at some point, but for now, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Hello. And then we can, we can actually save the bee family. Uh, actually, what do I want to do for the thumbnail? 
Yeah, I'll do a picture with the bee. How about that? I'll say, we're home. That'll be the name of the episode. All right. Uh, hold on. I'll just open that up real quick. But yeah. Thank you guys watch for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll probably do some stuff off camera and just surprise you. But uh, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.